What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now, we're going to be talking about a method that is very, very dangerous, bro. But if you do it and you do it the right way, and EA Sports cares for that day that you do it, you can be very, very benefit. Like you can get major benefits from it. All right. So pretty much what happened is this: you guys all know about the training variety packs. If you don't know about it, check out my previous videos about getting training. You know, free training, all that good stuff, and gambling inside of the training variety pack. So what happened was we pulled Cam Newton, right? And then we actually raid sold him and then I bought him back, right? Because it's like now we just run escape artists and we don't care anymore. So the game is pretty much at that point where we don't care. So now that we understand that the game is, you know, it's, it's like the, the, the most ridiculous way to play this game is to run around like a complete and utter imbecile with a quarterback that gets escape artists and has decent speed. Right now, I'm starting to realize how beneficial Cam, you know, Cam Newton actually is until Derrick Henry arrives. Just so that everybody understands, this is a, you know, when Derrick Henry drops, he's probably going to be like one of the most widely used quarterbacks, similar to what happened during the Christmas season when he was originally released. Just so everybody knows. But for right now, Cam Newton is him. All right. So look, after we pulled him and we sold him, we ended up buying him back. But what happened was Ben in your girls, Danucci, what happened is he started to play like garbage. And, you know, we realized like, look, it's not a situation where we have to really, you know, keep Ben Danucci. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not something like, yo, bro, like, you've earned your stripes. Like, bro, you safe in the locker room. No, the dude is garbage. He's gone. And that's pretty much what it is. So this is something that I don't recommend to you guys unless you're ready to go dangerously. All right. They have the new Ultimate Legends. They have one that's limited. All right. That D tackle from the, um, I think it's like a Buccaneers uh, legend. Like, the uh, who is it? Lee something? S Selman. Uh, Leroy Selman or something like that. So look, let me just go ahead and show you what's going on. These golden tickets are about 200,000, right? So this is a very, very dangerous thing. This is what you can do. You can look for 99s that are cheaper and sell, but just remember, you only, you get 180K back if you were to sell this, because uh, like say you sell at 200, you know, 200,000, you're gonna get 10, you gotta give them 10% for tax. EA Sports don't care, they will show up to your door if you don't pay your taxes. So definitely go ahead and handle that. You can look to see what the lowest price of a 99 overall is if you have a card that is a 99 that you want to otherwise get rid of. So this is what I would suggest. Go over here, because Ben DiNucci is gone no matter what, right? So now this is your objective. You got to find a 99, all right, that's cheap, that you can substitute, you know, that situation for, or you can quick sell him. But right now, because we see that these 98s are going for 170, to sell him and get back 180 wouldn't really matter in this situation. We might as well get the 100K training and just go into the training variety packs and go crazy. So that's what we're gonna go do, okay? So let's go over here. I just wanted to double check to see the way the method is because sometimes it's easier to get another lower overall than to sell, you know, one that you currently have. So Ben DiNucci is, is out of here for 100,000 training. Like, zoop, boop, you're gone. Now, we go right into the training variety pack, okay? And uh, we're gonna gamble. Now, Leroy Selman is still there. Uh, he is in the packs. Will we pull him? It doesn't matter. But this is what you do, right? You pull until you either have no training left right now or you pull a limited or a golden ticket. Once you get one of those things, the odds of you getting something good back to back is very, very low. And that's what a lot of you guys are just starting to realize. You can't really take advantage of EA. EA takes advantage of you. So even if you think you're winning, at some point, EA is going to go ahead and show you like, yo, I'm the boss. Like, I'm the captain. You know what I'm saying, bro? No Tom Hanks and that, whatever movie that was. It don't really matter. But this is the objective that I want you guys to understand because a lot of you guys have been getting a lot of, um, you know, positivity from doing these different methods and, you know, experimenting with different ways of going to get coins, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, I know we're almost at 2 million coins, but I'm not really concerned about getting that 200K for Danucci and then going over 2 mil as opposed to utilizing it on the weekend when there are limiteds available. So as you go through it, obviously you quick sell, you know, whatever it is that you don't want and you keep it going, you keep it going, you keep it going. Is it a guarantee? A lot of you guys are like, yo, gee, bro, I was doing it for mad long. I, I didn't get anything. I know. Trust me, bro. We've all been there. I get messages like, yo, gee, I just, I just gambled a million training. I got no golden tickets. I'm like, bro, you could have used that, that training and bought stuff and just bought a golden ticket off the auction house. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like it, it, it's, it's not that big of a deal to the point where it's like, oh my God, you know, um, I have to actually pull it. But you know what it is? It is exciting. And a lot of us do get, you know, really excited about, what the hell is that? A 95, what, what, which one is that? Oh, that's a regular wide receiver. I'm like, yeah, what the hell? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, I, that too tall. Like, bro, what the F is that? All right. So though, that's what I'm trying to really point out. If you have cards, right, that are higher overalls and you're like, yo, I, I don't really need the coins. I can gamble. I would say on the weekends when they have limited impacts or for whatever reason they have, um, you know, a golden ticket that you want. Um, the boosted odds. That's something else that, uh, you know, you guys were asking about. Boosted odds. Boosted odds is a myth. All right, it's something that really doesn't exist, but only in our minds we think it's actually happening because we read the writing that EA Sports puts there. I have not seen anyone um, really pull anything at an excessive rate when they do say that the pack odds are doubled or higher chance or whatever it is. So I don't believe it's real. Um, you know, to each its own. If you guys feel that it's going to benefit you in any way, form or fashion, that's absolutely fine as well. But I'm just letting you guys know, based on the feedback and what I've seen, whenever they say they boost the odds, nothing is really going on. All right, so you may want to watch that and just wait until the Ultimate Legends drop because I've seen several limited pulls over the last couple of weeks. So they're there and uh, several people have pulled multiple. And sometimes you keep going. Like I said, once I get something that I want, I usually just stop because I look, it's not going to keep going on. It's EA Sports. I already know it's not going to keep going on. So why do I want to keep doing that? You know what I'm saying? Why would I want to keep pulling packs when I know EA is standing there with their pants down in the front of the room? It doesn't make any sense. So once you start to get a decent amount, leave it alone. Like right now, we're getting a lot of strat cards. We're going to start putting together sets. We're going to start getting those rare uh, strat cards done. And then we'll start to make that 50K, you know, over and over again. That's pretty much why a lot of you guys really like a lot of these assessments um, that I've been giving you guys, um, you know, simply put, you're making a lot of coins or you're pulling what you want and enhancing your team. But this is very, very dangerous what I'm doing. Cause like I said, if I go through all this training or if you guys choose to do this method and you quick sell a 99 and you don't get anything, right? It's going to be really, really bad. The one thing that I can say though, is you'll at least get half of it back because you're going to get 50 K. Well, you're not gonna get half. You're gonna get like a quarter of it back. Because you'll be able to at least get one of those rare sets done. And then once you do that, you'll get another, you know, you'll get a 50k or whatever. Or sometimes you just start pulling rare strat cards, which I do. I pull at least one rare strat card every couple days. So that those are more likely to be in the packs than a limited legend or anything along those lines. You know what I'm saying? So th that's just something that I would like you guys to remember um, as you go along with it. But you can see we're still around the 94,000 rate and we've been doing this for a while. And that's what you have to do. You have to make sure that you have enough to consistently pull for a decent amount of time before you stop. That's the whole method, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to pull anything because I usually only pull stuff when I'm live streaming or, you know, you know on YouTube or on Twitch. So you guys see what I'm doing. Like, the last video I did for YouTube, we had 160 something thousand training, right? Uh, if you guys tuned in. And then we went to Twitch today and just blew it all. And then we went down to like whatever we had to start this video. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always going to let you guys see what's there. But I would like you guys to start to experiment with it. Because there is a chance that this may be a common thing. And they may start the launch of Madden 23 with it. Like, you know, it's no guarantee. But it may happen. And it's good to kind of get familiarized with it. To kind of know, all right, like, yo, I can go ahead and do this. And these, these this is what might happen. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you have an idea of what you can possibly get. Because to be honest, we've been rolling, like I said, we've been rolling for a little bit right now. Nothing is really, really crazy about it, but we've been consistently rolling and we've been at least getting some of the strat cards, whatever, uh, you know, adding them to the set every single time and just still looking for that limited. Either way, like I said, guys, this is what you're going to have to do. Um, you know, your luck might be better than mine's for this, you know, part of the video right here, but this is what is going to need to be done. A lot of repetition, a lot of seeing trash cards, you know, things of that nature. Uh, that's pretty much how it works. And then you just keep going until you get down to what you feel comfortable with. Now, look, out of the 100K, you can go down to zero if that's what you want to do. Or or you can simply say, you know what, I'm going to stop right here. Like, you know, at, at any point, just say, look, you know what, I'm done with this because I'm going to have the 50K. And throughout the week, you could possibly pull a golden ticket anyway at the same rate, in my opinion. You just will not be able to get the actual limited. So that's the, that's the only issue that you're going to otherwise have. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys now. Good luck. I want you guys to pull everything that you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going ahead and let you guys know that. I, I really hope that everybody that watches this video pulls a golden ticket. Uh, let me know if any other method that you've been using has been working. But 
Like I said, Ben DiNucci, bro, that dude is garbage, bro. It's all about Cam Newton right now until Derrick Henry drops. All right, guys? That's all I got for you guys right now. Happy Memorial Day. Never forget our fallen soldiers. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Enjoy your day. One love, y'all.